Today, we're gonna talk reverse seared steaks. I've got two types of steaks here. So this one is a tomahawk steak or a ribeye steak. This here is a, a tenderloin filet mignon. And what you wanna look for when you're buying is the fat marbling. What we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna cover these steaks with a little bit of oil and then salt and pepper. So my grill temperature, I've got it at 225 and I have the smoke setting about anywhere from seven to 10, just to get a little more smoky flavor. Gonna throw these in. Now know that these are gonna cook at different rates because the, the filet mignon is gonna cook a lot quicker because it's a lot smaller, as you can see. It's all based on temperature. You gotta watch the temperature of that steak. I usually cook the steak to uh, rare to medium rare, which ends up being around 130 degrees. On the filet mignons, because they're a little bit thinner, I'm probably gonna go from about 10 degrees from target temperature. So around 120 degrees, we'll sear it. Um, the thicker steak, we'll probably sear it about 125. Because it's so thick, that temperature's not gonna change as much. All right, those steaks are on the grill. I wanna show you how to do this finishing butter. What we're gonna do, just start with some butter, throw it in a pan that you can put in the grill because we are gonna smoke this. There's just a few ingredients to this, but we're gonna start with the garlic and crush it. Uh, and then the next thing is some herbs. I'm using rosemary today. Um, one of my other favorite ones is thyme. I usually just break it apart a little bit. So I'm gonna put it in the grill after a little bit. I might stir it a couple of times, especially once it's finished, we're gonna stir it. But you'll see it'll just all melt and those flavors will be delicious. All right, these filet mignons just passed 116. So I've been heating up my cast iron skillet on the sidekick here, and we're going to sear them off. These are gonna sear for about a minute or two. The biggest thing is they're gonna raise from, oh, five to 10 degrees here. Um, we just want a nice crust on the outside is what we're looking for. These are finished up. So let's cut this up and take a look inside. Oh man, that looks great. So we got this garlic herb butter here and that's just gonna add a little more flavor to it. A nice garlic herb flavor. Finish it with just a little bit of salt. And I'll just take a bite. That's top notch, but I can't wait to try out this other one. All right, looks like that bigger tomahawk steak reached uh, about 120 degrees. My pan's hot. I'm gonna throw some butter in here and we'll sear this off and finish it up. All right, looks like we're ready. This one is looking good. I'm excited to cut it open and see how we did. All right, that's looking awesome. I'm gonna to top it off with a little bit of this butter. All right, and then some salt. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Again, this is a super easy recipe. You go to a restaurant, you're paying 50 plus dollars for that. But it's really simple. Watch your temperature and, and you'll be set. Again, try this out at home. Let us know what you think. Like this video, subscribe it for more. And again, share your experiences with us. We wanna see what you're cooking.